you'll come to find out I forgot to plant part of the field. Yep, we got speed. Yo, are you empty in here? How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So I have been a little bit quiet on YouTube lately. That's because I had two videos that I filmed, complete videos, and went to edit them and they didn't have hardly any audio. And the last two that I actually posted, I had enough audio that you could figure out what's going on, but these two were just so bad that there was really no hope. So I had to scrap them, it really stinks. It was some good content. So update on what's going on on the farm. Obviously we've finished planting. The crops are up, everything's looking beautiful. We've got most of the corn sprayed, most of the corn side dressed, got a little bit left to do. I'm actually gonna go do that in a little bit. Um, Dad's cutting hay right now. We could go check on him real quick before we leave. And yeah, growing season is in full swing. Crops are looking really good. We've had some really nice weather. Had a little bit of rain. It was getting kind of dry, then we got some rain. And this corn's really starting to take up the nitrogen. Beans are looking good. Uh, we could keep things going like this. We should have a pretty good crop. So I'm gonna get going here. I gotta hook the applicator up to my pickup and move it down to another farm because the tractor is at grandpa's in the shed and I don't wanna have to drive it all the way over here and then drive it all the way south to the farm. So I'm gonna pull it with my pickup, get it kinda of in the middle and then hook it up down there. So let's get that hooked up real quick. Got that hooked up. I'm gonna go check on dad real quick. He's just here behind the barn. See how he's coming. Dad's doing fine cutting hay. He's having a little bit of trouble with that sickle bar plugging up with the dead hay from last year that overwintered. And uh, he's just taking his time. Today's like the hottest day of the year. It's 106 heat index. So you gotta be careful on that open cap tractor. Stay hydrated. He rode back up with me and got some water. But I'm gonna head over to the field. I forgot that they tarred and chipped a road where I was gonna park this and I don't wanna take the tractor down that road on that fresh tar it'll get oil all over the hood so I'm actually gonna bring this to the field that I'm going to it'll be a little bit more out of my way but all right got this thing dropped here I'm actually gonna flip this hitch over because it's wearing pretty bad right there Probably hard to see on camera I'm gonna flip this over that way it wears on this side it uh, when it's hooked to the tractor, that hitch kind of hangs down and wears out pretty bad. So I think I just need a 9 16th wrench and probably a socket. 9 16th ratchet. Let's get that flipped over. Yeah, it's getting pretty bad. Well, get in there. There we go. 
I've been driving my good truck since the air doesn't work in the old beater. So I got this fancy little tool set. It was actually on sale over Christmas for a hundred bucks. But it's a handy little set to just keep, keep in the truck just in case all my you know my main tools are in my work truck. But nice to have a few tools here and there. I made it out here to grandpa's. Let's go find a tractor to use. That one will work. Just gotta unhook the drill first. And you may be wondering why I have the drill hooked up. Well, it's a funny story. I uh, was driving along, looking at a bean field out the window, and I thought, you know, that field, that part of that field doesn't look very green. Well, come to find out, I forgot to plant part of the field. So, that's the whole story. So we put some beans in the drill and patched it in. It was only an acre, so not a big deal. I think I got them all. Go inside and check. I gotta take my stops out of the hydraulics once I get that raised up. The temperatures and gas prices right. Okay, that's right. That's right. And that's right. And I think my lunch is here. I think all my connections are good. Make sure I got a speed reading on here. And I don't. That's not good. Maybe the GPS is still acquiring the signal. So this thing reads speed with that little white puck thing there that is called SkyTrack, and it's actually a GPS speed sensor. And this thing tells you the status and the power. Well, the status is red, so I'm assuming it's just still acquiring satellite signals. I'm going to go fill this thing up and hopefully it will acquire the signal by the time I get it filled up. FS brought me a truck out since I didn't have anyone to tender me since dad's cutting hay. So I should have enough here to do this whole farm. Let's figure out how to run this thing. Let's see. That's open. That's open. That needs to be open. And that runs off of PTO. So start the truck up. fill and that's a three inch pump so hopefully we don't blow anything apart gotta take these out need some more hands 
fans. Last thing I need to check. Oh, light turned green. Hopefully I got speed now. I need to make sure my pump is running in the right direction. Oh, let's go out here and check. That doesn't sound like it's running. So, let's see if I got it backwards. I think it's good now. All right, got my tank filled up. We'll turn our flashers off so we don't run out of blinker fluid. As long as I got speed, I should be able to go feed some corn. Yep, we got speed. Oh, I need to change my rate. 35, let's see, I wanna run 40. Enter, speed. Speed matches the speed on the corner post. We're ready to roll. Get this thing unfolded. And we should be ready to go. Rate two, let's see if this thing works. It's been a while since I used it. We got juice coming out. Rate looks good. All right, we are ready to go. sure why my camera's been having such a hard time with audio lately. As uh, you can imagine, it's really frustrating having to scrap two videos like that. Um, especially because it was the end of planting and a little bit of side dress, so it was pretty good content. But anyways, I'm using a GoPro Hero 9 Black with the Media Mod for mic. Um, what I ended up doing was I updated the firmware and I got a new SD card, so hopefully the audio starts working again. If anybody's got any ideas, let me know. Um, I'm going through as I film this and checking to make sure I have audio, and so far so good. So hopefully that problem has been resolved. So for those of you who may not be familiar with what we're doing here, we are side dressing the corn. We're using liquid 32% nitrogen, and all we're doing is injecting it right in between the corn rows. Uh, nitrogen is one of the three major nutrients for corn. It's actually the most important one. It needs the most nitrogen compared to any of the other elements that it needs to grow. So uh, some people put all their nitrogen on up front in the form of anhydrous or dry urea, or I guess that's probably the only two. I guess some people blow their all their uh, liquid on with a sprayer ahead of time, but we like to side dress because we farm a lot of lighter soils and a lot of poorly drained soils. So those are two ingredients that make it so your soils don't want to hold on to nitrogen very well. So for us, we think it's better off to put the nitrogen in the ground when the crop's already growing and ready to use it. So that's what we're doing today. And in the past, we have used anhydrous for the most part, but this year with the way prices are, uh, per pound of N, liquid is basically the same price as anhydrous and it's a lot easier and faster and safer so we're using liquid on most of it we are still using a little bit of anhydrous dad likes to use it in the lighter ground it seems to work a little bit better in the, in the sandier soils so we did a couple hundred acres of anhydrous but for the most part we're doing liquid this year time to fill up again i wish this thing had a bigger tank
field. I'm going to move the tractor to the next field. I'm actually not going to do anything here today. I uh, just got some point rows to do where we ran in hydras. We don't like to run in hydras on the point rows because it just destroys all the corn. So a lot of times what we'll do is we'll either put the point rows on pre-plant or we'll come back with liquid because these real skinny poulters, they don't really disturb the corn on the point rows. So I got a little bit to do there and then I got another 60 acres left. That's the last field to side dress. And uh, I'm going to be done for the day. I got to go home and watch my son so my wife can go out without me and have fun. It is what it is. So. There's a little bit left in the truck yet. I'm going to get that empty because we're going to need it anyway. No sense sending it back to FS if they just got to bring it back out. So. Get this thing emptied out real quick. So far, I'm pretty happy with this applicator. I think it was a pretty good purchase. Uh, like I said in an earlier video, we normally would use one of FS's toolbars. They got three or four of them that you can use, but sometimes they're busy. There are other people who use them and you can't always get them when you want them. So I decided that we needed our own. So pick this one up. It's got a few issues that I'm not crazy about. Like uh, one thing is I wish I had a bigger tank. It's only got a thousand gallon tank, so when you're running a high rate, you can only get like 25 acres done at a time, so it's still faster than an hydras. The other thing is the outside two coulters on the wings, they don't really want to go on the ground when you're in heavy ground. So I think there's some tweaks I can make to it to uh, make it work a little bit better. But for now, it, it works just fine. I also set the tractor up to do variable rate. This was all filmed in one of those videos that I lost audio, so that really stinks. I'm trying to cover everything that I already talked about, but you guys didn't get to hear, but converted this tractor over to run variable rate, and I ran it on a few farms, and it worked great. I was really surprised. Uh, I know of one other person, a friend of mine, who was trying to run it the same way, controlling the Raven through the John Deere, and they couldn't get it to work. So I wasn't super optimistic, but it actually worked great. So. Pretty pleased with that. Probably gonna run a lot more available rate next year now that I know that it works. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. One last thing for the three or four of you who stuck around till the end of the video. I just wanna let you guys know, I do still have merch available. My uh, merchandise store is in a link in the description. We got these hats, they're a new design. I really like them, they're super comfortable. They're similar to the Richardson 112, which is really popular, but these ones you can actually get because, you know, COVID, supply chain issues, blah, blah, blah. So these are up there. Uh, I don't remember what they cost go down there hey maybe you could get one for your dad for father's day it's coming up i don't know if if you'll get it in time but it's a good thought anyway so check that stuff out thanks for watching see you guys on the next one. Oh, i forgot to tell you so you know all that trouble we were having with the steering sensor on this tractor well it's fixed now deer mechanic came out tore it apart didn't find anything wrong put it back together and then it just started working so had to be a loose connection we still don't know but knock on wood it's been working ever since so that's all i got have a good one